Hey guys, Mike Dugan, your AutoCAD guru. If you're just starting out with the program, or you just took it out of the box, you just installed it, you're all excited, and now you don't know what to do, this is the place for you. In this quick little lesson, I just want to show you a few things that you're going to want to customize almost immediately. When you first install the program, it probably looks an awful lot like what my screen does now. You have a white background, you've got these two roll bars right here, and you've also got a quite small cursor, uh, which you can see me moving around right now. I want to show you how to fix all three of those things. First of all, the purpose in these scroll bars is, let me just make a few lines quick so I can show you. This is kind of a leftover from earlier versions of AutoCAD. It's just a means of panning, which is about the dumbest thing going, because nowadays with AutoCAD, all you need to do is just hold down your wheel mouse and you could pan to your heart's content. So let me show you how to get rid of those and do the other few things I mentioned. Let's go to the Tool menu, scroll down to Options, and if it's not already selected, hit the Display tab. Let's tackle the Display Scroll Bars situation first. All you need to do is uncheck this box, and keep an eye on them over here, and watch what happens when I click Apply. Boom, they're gone. That's nice, so they're just kind of in the way, it just takes up drawing space, and there's absolutely no need to have them. The other two things I wanted to talk about was the crosshair size and the colors. Now for the crosshair, or namely the cursor, I like making mine the full height and width of the screen. I find that it makes it a little bit easier to select objects, uh, it's easier to find my cursor if I have a lot of geometry on the screen, and it just makes for a better experience. So I just drag this guy all the way over to 100%, and then I'll make it the full size. The last thing I'm going to want to change is the colors. Right now I have white as a background, and if you're going to spend a lot of time behind the computer screen working, you are going to find that if you use a white background, it's going to be a huge eye strain. You really want either a really dark gray or I actually prefer it to be black. So I'm going to click Colors, and you'll see here it says 2D Model Space. I'm going to keep that selected, and under Color, I'm just going to go down and select Black. You can, obviously you can click any color you want. But let me just grab black, I'll click Apply and Close, and I'll click OK. So now what you can see is I have a full width cursor, a full height cursor, a nice black screen, and I got rid of those idiotic scroll bars, which again, I just don't get those stupid things. Let me get rid of this here. OK. The other thing I wanted to just show you really quick was how to get rid of this little, what they call the UCS icon over here. We're really going to be dealing almost exclusively with 2D drawing. That UCS icon is really meant for 3D drawing. So let's, let's get rid of that thing. So to lose it, let's go to View, scroll down to Display, UCS icon, and we'll uncheck Off. And just keep your eye on it, and you'll see that disappear. Boom, gone. Okay, that's all I really wanted to talk about in this one. I wanted to keep it quick. Uh, let's talk about other things later, and we'll see where we go from there. Now, if you found this video at all helpful, you know what to do about that thumbs up icon. And I appreciate it if you leave a comment as well saying how terrific you thought it was. So I'll see you on the next time around. Thanks.